Hi there, this is Dr. Claw here with a brief Yellow Dig tutorial. So if Yellow Dig is brand new to you, um, it can be a little bit confusing at first glance. And so I'm going to show you how it works using a, a concluded board from a class that I've already taught. And that's going to give me a chance to show you some of the more um, advanced features that aren't available for a brand new board. So um, first of all, you'll see a picture of me and my name as the board owner. And um, what I suggest you do is go in and uh, you would want to click on me or who, whomever your board owner is and um, click follow. And I don't recall where the follow button is here. Let me just choose someone else. There we go. Choose a person, click follow right there on their image. Okay, so that's step one. That's going to make sure that you get notified when the board owner posts new content. Um, so like if they pin something, it comes as an email notification to you as long as you have allowed those. Um, and that will help you keep up with the class a little more easily than if you only find out about that content when you log in and maybe there's a lot of stuff that's been posted and it can be a little overwhelming. So that's step one. Um, the other thing I want to do is show you a little bit about um, how the points work for Yellow Dig. So if you go over to settings, I'm not sure if you can see this, but um, basically your board has an, an amount of points that you're trying to attain by the end of the term. And the point of the weekly point maximum is to ensure that you are actively participating in the class throughout the term rather than doing it all at the beginning or all at the end. Or, or on the middle for that matter, um, so that you're getting a chance to think about all of the different topics that are presented in the course. And so I'm actually probably not using these exact settings in your board, but um, this can at least give you a sense of how it works. So if you post something new, that's creating a pen. And if it's got at least 40 words, so you know it's more than just a you know one sentence observation, then you can get 10 points towards your weekly total. Um, if you get, if you add a comment to someone else's post or pen um, that is 40 words or more, you can get five points. And uh, you can upvote, comment, you can get an instructor badge. All of those things can get you points. So I suggest that on your board you check on the settings and see how those work. Um, I have since modified the time here. So the latest time of day that it will let me have the points kind of expire and restart is 11 p.m. So uh, the week ends at 11 p.m. on Sundays for your yellow dig total. So if you're trying to get your points in for a week, um, just make sure you've done it by 11 p.m. that week. Okay, so that is points. Um, there are also topics that I have put in here to help us organize what we're talking about and um, when you pin, I will ask you to use a topic. Um, it might take a minute for you to think about, well, what am I talking about? You know, am I um, asking a question that's valuable for the whole class, in which case you might use the Q&A tag? Um, am I asking a question about a reading, or am I maybe presenting a question that I'm thinking of for my critical readings assignment? In that case, you might put that tag there. Um, so there are a lot of different options for you in terms of tags. And once a board has some tags set up, and this is why I'm showing you an old board, you can filter by those tags. So if you go over here on the right, you'll see there's trending topics, but you can also click this show all topics and it will let you say, okay, well, I want to see, um, <laughs> I want to see all of the literary posts. So, um, you know, what, what are some of the questions that we talked about with our literature? Um, and if you're in business writing, you will have a different tag. You know, you won't have this one. But you can see that it not only shows you posts that I make, but posts that um, class members make and um, that have they've tagged it under that one.
Yeah, and here's another classmate. So there's lots of ways to filter the content. You can use these filters as well. You can um, look for a particular user's content. You can uh, look at the board owner's content. You can look at your own um, content. You can even filter to look at pens with a badge. So those are pens that when I read it, I was like, wow, this is a really, really good pen. And if you look at my comments on the pen, you can probably find out why I thought that pen was so good. But so this is a way to kind of zoom in on the best stuff that your classmates are posting. Um, so that's a really useful one as well. You can even bookmark a post. So like, let's say maybe you commented on a post that you thought was really interesting and you want to keep track of it. Um, you can set up a bookmark on that and you do that by clicking this little blue link that says bookmark. Um, and I think those are the main things that you're going to want to know. Um, if you if you don't want to see the filter you're in anymore, you can hover over it and a little X appears and you can click X and then it'll take you back to the main feed. So just note that at the beginning of the term, scrolling through the feed might be very straightforward, but by the end, there's going to be so much. I mean, you can just keep going and going and going that you really do want to start using those tags and everything. Um, up here, you'll find your notifications where um, you can find out if someone has tagged you or something like that. And that is just a brief tutorial on how to use Yellow Dig.